Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the 2022 Subaru Legacy. This one is the premium trim and this one has a $1,100 package. Basically includes the blind spot monitoring system, keyless entry and the fog lights and rear cross traffic. But let me go ahead and show you all the features this premium Legacy has. Under the hood, they're going to be a 2.5 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine that's connected to a CVT transmission. This engine produces 182 horses and 176 pound feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers on this engine 27 in the city, 35 highway, and 30 combined. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2022 Subaru Legacy. And it does have a package basically, the blind spot monitoring system, rear cross traffic keyless access and LED fog lights and does have a few more accessories and the price on this one is 27,000 almost 28,000 with destination if you guys are curious about the color the color is called crystal white and it does look pretty good on this Subaru Legacy for 2022 nothing was changed basically it's just a carryover and as I said this one is uh, equipped with the $1,100 package it includes the uh, push to start the LED fog lights and the rear cross traffic Coming to the front, the front is not aggressive at all, but does look pretty good. I really like the headlight design. It does have some sharp edges and the style is pretty good. But sadly, not everything is LED in the headlight housing. So the high and low beam are going to be LED, but the turn signal indicators are not going to be LED. They're going to be halogen. And the daytime running light does look good. It does have some chrome right here in the front. Subaru badge is going to be nice and big. And the grille is going to be finished in flat black and even the trim in the bottom is going to be finished in flat black there's going to be an opening for air in the bottom and the style of the bumper does look good like the bottom portion of the bumper does look good and as i said it does have led fog lights and that plastic that flat plastic in the bottom actually looks pretty good it doesn't look cheap and i think it does basically just give this uh, legacy a nicer look but let's go ahead and move to the side of this Subaru legacy and I'll show you how it looks like from the side here is a side view of this 2022 Subaru legacy and from the side nothing was changed as I said it's basically just a carryover from the previous year which is the 21 and uh, from the side nothing really crazy right here there is no sharp lines there is few lines on the side here but nothing too sharp or aggressive and the window trims are going to be finished in chrome and i love the fact that the chrome actually carries into the mirror which is nice and this subaru has blind spot monitoring system and it does have a turn signal indicator on the mirror and for the rims the rims do look good i think the size and the design is pretty good the size is going to be 225 55 17 so there's a good amount of rubber which is good but let's go ahead and move to the back of this Subaru and I'll show you how it looks like from the back. Here is the back of the Legacy and honestly the back of this Legacy doesn't look that aggressive. And I forgot to mention but this Subaru Legacy does not have the sloping roof design like a lot of companies are doing nowadays. The tail lights have an okay look to them. I love the fact that they're blacked out. And the only thing that is going to be LED right here in the back is going to be the running light of the tail lights. The uh, turn signal indicators and the reverse are going to be halogen. Subaru with all the drive badges are going to be all the way to the left, and Legacy is all the way to the right. And of course, you will have the Subaru badge in the center. And as I told you guys, right here in the back, there is really nothing. Even there is no reflectors in the bottom, but the reflectors are actually built into the tail lights, which is nice, but. I really wish that the reflectors were in the bottom just to give it like a nicer look I think but uh, yeah the bottom portion is going to be finished in flat black and uh, yeah that's about it for the back of this Subaru here is a key of this Subaru feels nice and light and very solid but a little bit on the bulky side it is finished in flat black and brushed aluminum and it does have four binds on it unlock lock unlock trunk release and a panic bind it does have a physical key inside of it so in the trunk they're going to be Three different ways, one on the key, one on the trunk, and one inside. And the trunk opens halfway, and then you have to do the rest of the work. And inside, there is actually a very good amount of space, and the opening is very, very good. So putting things in, 
and out is super easy because of the opening of the trunk and I love the fact that there is a good amount of storage place on the right and left there's going to be a hook right here and you could drop the seats down there is another handle right here on the right and the seats are 64 d split which is good and underneath there's going to be the jack and the jack tools and the spare tire is going to be right underneath the jack and the jack tools for the front door panel I think it does look very good and there is a good amount of soft materials and this portion right here is nice and soft this is wrapped in cloth the armrest is wrapped in leather I'm glad that it is wrapped in leather easier to clean than cloth a nice pocket right here window switches mirror controls everything looks good the front two are automatic up and down and this side this uh, the uh, side of the armrest is going to be finished in leather it's nice and soft and plastic in the bottom which is expected I really wish the bottom uh, storage place of the door was a little bit bigger it does have a speaker and the speaker is massive on this door panel and this legacy has the tan interior I think the tan interior looks very good the seats are nice and comfortable and they are of course power seats for the $28,000 uh, sedan and it does have lumbar support but let's go ahead and move inside the Subaru and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside All right, so here is the interior of this 2022 Subaru. Again, guys, everything stayed the same as the 21. Basically, just a carryover. The interior looks nice and spacious. And I really like this tan interior. I think it does look good. And they're going to be a massive screen. It's 11.6 inches. Let's go ahead and lower the fan speed down a tiny bit. And it is actually 100 degrees outside at the moment. And for the steering wheel it is wrapped in leather it does look good it does have a good amount of 10 and 2 grip and overall i think the design is pretty good it does have a blacked out or smoked uh, brushed aluminum and as i said the design of the steering wheel is good it does have a few buttons right here on the left source voice command button controls you'll have the uh, channel uh, radio controls right here to change the channels and then down here you will have buttons to control that center sc uh, screen and then all the way to the right, you will have the controls for uh, Subaru safety system, which is the EyeSight. And it doesn't have paddle shifters, but it does have a CVT transmission, but there is eight um, gears that you could go through using the paddle shifters. And then you will have the headlight controls with the fog light controls. And to the right is going to be the wiper controls. And here is the engine start stop. Gauges look good. And as I said, they're going to be that center display in the middle. It will display a good amount of information inside. And all the way to the left, they're going to be the brightness control and the trunk release button. Here is a screen. It's 11.6 inch screen. And I'm noticing that there is a good amount of glare on the screen, but maybe a screen protector will actually fix this issue. And uh, overall, I think it does look, look pretty good. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The system itself looks a little bit on the dated side, but it is nice and responsive most of the time but uh, yeah I don't like the fact that there is a good amount of glare you could go through a few things right here up top it shows the temperature and uh, the weather and all these kind of stuff it does have a volume control a volume knob and a tune knob and it does have the emergency light behind right there I really like the brushed aluminum with the gloss black and it does have the temperature controls on the left and right for the driver and passenger and the climb controls are going to be right here so you could control the climb controls this way and it does have heated seats and you could actually click on this and you could bring up the temperature this way bring it down and let me go ahead and show you the backup camera backup camera resolution is okay i really wish it was a little bit better but the lines do move when you actually turn the steering wheel which is good and here is the shifter that will control the CVT transmission as I said you could put it in manual mode and use the paddle shifters and there is eight gears you could go through with those paddle shifters there are going to be a good amount of brushed aluminum and gloss black around the shifter I think it does look good I really like the leather on the shifter itself and there are going to be some chrome right here around the shifter 
and here is the e-brake and it does have a storage place right here with two USBs and one aux and this is actually going to be wrapped in leather very nice and soft which is good and here are the cup holders massive cup holders and they're going to be this small piece right here you could actually take it out if you have like a smaller cup you want to raise it a little bit up you could just put this one there and that will make it a little bit higher so you could grab it better here is the armrest it's nice and soft it is wrapped in leather which is good and they're going to be two tiers this is the first tier and then there is the second tier good amount of storage place inside with 112 volt and here is the rear view mirror doesn't have any binds on it or anything like that but it is nice and uh, thin the bezels are not too thick and here is the eyesight basically the uh, camera for the safety features it does have a glasses holder and it does have some LED lights the lights themselves feel a little bit on the flimsy side it does have SOS and here is a switch to turn on and turn off the lights whenever the doors are open or closed and it does have a mirror the visor itself feels nice and solid nice and soft and it does have some halogen lights and they're going to be a storage place right here it's not too big and it's not too deep you could just put small tiny things right there and by the way this is going to be wrapped in leather which is amazing and it is nice and soft as you guys see so good job Subaru and here is the glove box it's not too big but it does the job here is a back door panel it does have the same design as the front this whole thing is going to be wrapped in cloth this is going to be that synthetic cover material so I'm glad that Subaru did not put this uh, plastic so they did not cheap out back here which is good it does have that car uh, fake carbon fiber looking trim and the door handle feels nice and solid here is the window switch it does look good small cubby right here and the armrest is wrapped in leather nice and soft plastic in the bottom which is expected good amount of storage place and a speaker and back seats are nice and comfortable there's a good amount of leg room which is expected in the segment and the headroom is actually pretty good and it does have an armrest two cup holders i really wish they were a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper but it is wrapped uh, not wrapped in uh, leather it is finished in cloth it is nice and soft and it does have ac vents here in the back and i love the fact that there is brushed aluminum right underneath the ac vents and they're going to be two usbs and this is how the front of this legacy looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 Subaru Legacy Premium. I would like to thank Elmer and Dan Perkins Subaru here in Milford, Connecticut for providing me this legacy. If you guys are interested, I'm going to go ahead and put the information and link at the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.